Today I'm going to talk about a product called a FabLock, which is essentially a DIY weld table solution. FabLocks are made by a company called WeldTables.com, and they specialize in making DIY weld tables for anyone from the hobbyist to the production manufacturer. They offer weld tables in various sizes, thicknesses, and for different applications. Personally, I was looking for a welding table for DIY MotoFix for a long time, and I had investigated about three different options. First, I looked at making my own, which I thought was going to be the route I was going to go. But when I started looking at different design options and laying out material prices and things like that, it didn't make a lot of financial sense. The next thing I looked at was buying a full weld table, fully assembled, and I thought that might be an option, and it turned out to be extremely cost prohibitive, and for what I plan on doing here, overkill. And lastly, I looked at Craigslist and thought I might be able to pick something up on the used market, and at least in my area, I wasn't able to find anything in a reasonable time frame. So that's where I'm at. I've got the fab block here. Uh, from what I know and what I believe, it's a good option for the hobbyist uh, all the way up to someone that wants to do production fabrication. The fat block arrives on a pallet and the shipping company will give you a call a day or two beforehand and you'll be able to schedule delivery and it'll show up on your doorstep. Now with the fat block you get everything you need to put it together. This is a tab and slot table design, which is something Wooltables.com specializes in. Basically all these parts you see are laser cut and designed to fit together and form a rigid structure. And the rigid structure is what allows them to claim that you'll get 10 thou flatness tolerance on the tabletop itself. Uh, it comes with a bill of materials which has an assembly print showing how it goes together and that's really all you need to assemble it. At this point we're going to begin the assembly process. The first thing I'm going to do is clean all the parts so that they're ready to weld and I don't have to clean as I go. From there, we'll begin putting the braces in place and clamping and setting up for the initial tack welds. Now that we've finished cleaning all the parts, we're going to begin installing the support ribs. The first thing we're going to do is look at the tabletop itself and determine if it has a crown or bow to it. Wall tables suggest that any crown or bow that's present be positioned down and away from the support ribs in the center of the table so that it's easiest to draw the crown or bow back into position against the straight ribs. In this particular table, you can see it's already positioned with the crown going down. The ribs will go on the top and then we'll clamp it in place and draw it all back together. On this table, all the short ribs are going to get installed first. To do this, I'm simply going to fit them into their respective tabs. Next, we're going to install the long ribs. Now that I've got all the ribs installed, I'm going to begin clamping everything in place. I'm going to work from the inside out and draw the tabletop against the ribs as I go. At this point, I've installed all the U-bolts that I have. Next, I'm going to check for flatness and then start tack welding the center. Once I'm done with the center, since I don't have enough clamps to do the outside right now, I'll move the clamps out and then do the same process there. So I've gone through and checked for flatness, and I basically reconfigured some clamps so that I have an internal rectangle here that's all flat and ready to go for tack welding. Next I'm going to tack weld it, and then I'll reposition my clamps. I just 
just finished welding my internal rectangle and now I'm going to move my clamps out and tack weld the outside of the table. So I just finished tack welding the bottom of the table. Next I'm going to flip the table over and then I'm going to tack weld all the tabs and slots in the tabletop. Before I tack weld the tabs and slots in the tabletop, I'm going to check and see how flat it actually is. So I checked flatness and actually found that I have a little bit of a bow in the center of the tabletop. So before I tack weld the tabs and slots on the top, I've used bar clamps to try and bring the bow down and correct it. I actually think that when I install the sides, that the bow is probably going to go away. But we'll wait and find out. I just finished tack welding the tabletop. Next thing I'm going to do is install the sides. To do that, I'm going to flip the tabletop over and then I'll install the sides by using a combination of U-bolts and bar clamps to secure them in place. Along the way, I'll be checking for flatness, squareness, and straightness. So I just finished tack welding the sides. Last thing I have to do is install and tack weld the corner plates and then I can finish weld the entire table. The leg plates have been tack welded now. Next I'm going to take the clamps off, flip it over and then I'll finish weld everything. So we're almost done. As you can see, my wall table is fully welded. I've checked it for flatness, and I'm really happy with the results. I spent quite a bit of time making sure everything fit together just right, and that extra effort paid off in the end. All my corners are 90 degrees, the surface is flat with the level, and the sides are nice and straight. If you want to get a wall table like this, check out the link. It'll take you to welltables.com where you can shop a variety of table sizes, thicknesses, and at different prices to meet your needs. Full disclosure, this is an affiliate link. We at DIY Moto Fix strive to bring you the best products, and at no additional cost to you, if you choose to purchase a well table, we'll get a small commission. We appreciate your support and hope you enjoy this video.